it's interesting because there is there are certain things that people would walk on our campus and sort of be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe a child is doing right. that. <laughs> but they don't see all of the other processes in place or the things that we pay attention to. We have we have certifications for a lot of things that could be a little risky or you know could, cutting with knives or cooking or uh, we have a roller skating certification we put mm. in place because roller skating became popular again at our mm -hmm. on our campus and people wanted to be able to roller skate but then it, how do we do that safely of course that came after my own daughter broke her wrist uh -huh. <laughs> roller skating <laughs> on campus Thankfully, it's almost sometimes I'm grateful that it's my child and not someone else's child. <laughs> right, right. But we also, when we go on field trips, for example, we're mm -hmm. pretty authoritarian <laughs> on field mm -hmm. trips. I'll say, you know, we're in a, we're in someone else's space. The adults on the field trip, the chaperones, are responsible for what goes on, and so we, you know, put some clear boundaries in place. And if people don't follow them, then they might not be able to go on field trips in the, for a while. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs> 